Good morning, coffee lovers. My name is William, and you're watching Camo Coffee Critic. Today, well, this is one of the few intros that you're going to see where I'm actually indoors here at, in Chattanooga, Tennessee at Goodman Coffee Roasters. Um, you'll notice, uh, just kind of do a quick 360 here. I'm inside this mall area here. Um, it's on the bottom floor, but I've heard good things about this coffee shop, so I'm looking forward to getting inside and checking it out. So one thing I thought was really cool when you first walk into this warehouse row, I think this place is called, there's this big uh, circular table with these like huge, like throne-like chairs for you to like hang out and chill in. I kind of thought that was a neat thing. And above me actually is this, the decor in here, like this, there's a big chandelier above us. And, or, with this rope over here like I don't know I like this whole little complex as a vibe so Now that we're inside, first things first, as always, straight espresso. Pan the camera down here. I like this little setup. I love when coffee shops do that. But, uh, I think I, if you saw the last video, I still have uh, chats on my taste buds, so plan for a second. Let's see where we are on flavor before I let the shot die. It didn't take me as long to set up the camera this time, so. Here, I'll pan the camera down just like I did at Orchard. And I'll show you guys. Break that crema and the aroma underneath. Ooh. So that's got a nice silky aroma to it. Subtle roastiness. Kind of getting some fruit notes off of there. Let's see where we are on flavor. Pan that camera back up. There we go. So Y'all can see the artwork behind me. Ooh. So I was right with the silky smooth notes. I'm kind of getting that oaky, silky flavor to it. Oh, that's really good. I'm looking forward to how that pairs with the latte, although I'm not sure what it is at this moment. But I'm gonna let you know when the time comes around. I'm actually gonna get another one. <laughs> that's, I gotta say, that's one of the better espressos that I've had, at least since I've been here in Chattanooga. So let's move on to a drip brew, and I have two to choose from from there. First up is an Ethiopia, which you can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that for the lighting in here. Nice clean extraction where it's like kind of translucent. So Ethiopia. Excuse me for a second so I can, there we go. So bold. Oh, what is that flavor? I can't place it. It's kind of nutty. So nutty, caramelly, but still smooth. Let's see where we are on flavor. Ooh. Now, this is the second time in this second half of the series that I've actually been surprised where the aroma is actually more uh, pronounced than the flavor. So if you're looking for a nice easy drinking coffee to start your day off with, or if you're not used to drinking black coffee, I recommend, this is Ethiopia, 
Ethiopia. I keep saying it so I don't forget. Yeah, nice and smooth, like perfect for somebody that um, wants to start drinking coffee black without cream or sugar or anything. Nice and smooth, you don't get that bitter aftertaste that uh, you would usually get with like a like a donut shop blend or something akin to like Folgers or chocolate nuts. So let's move on to Colombia. And without changing the shot. A little more extraction there. I don't know if, again, I can't tell for the lighting because I won't know until I hit it. But nice, even extraction there. So, aroma wise, that one has a lot more sweeter, fruitier note to it. Like, I'm not kidding. That reminds me, it almost reminds me of the uh, uh, blackberry coffee I had at Farewell in Asheville. Yeah, definitely sweet and fruity aroma. Let's see what we are on flavor. Oh wow, way sweeter on flavor just by itself. And this is a black coffee. So it's like a it's like a decadent sweetness, almost like a I wanna say almost like a wine. Like it's like a very fine sweetness to it, but you still have that um, stout roastiness of a black coffee. I think it fares really well. I kinda wish I came here sooner because this is really good. Highly recommend if you again if you're looking for a nice easy drinking black coffee. Columbia blend here at Goodman Coffee in Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> if I say the location a lot, it's just to remind myself, like, if you notice in my Asheville series, I accidentally said, uh, Asheville, Tennessee, <laughs> because I'm not used to being out of state. That's really good. So let's move on to the latte, and let's see if I can't get a nice, uh, some nice footage for YouTube shorts. Last but not least, Cortado. I'll pan the camera down real quick and give you another look at that work before I totally mess it up. Definitely. So, I'm glad I stopped in here because um, I hadn't really heard too much about it, but I had a couple locals uh, point me in this direction. And shout out to you guys. Um, I know you gave me a follow on Instagram, but uh, and shout out. To Shout out to you guys that I met over in, uh, oh, I don't many. So today's President's Day. Uh, that's why I'm wearing something different than the last few episodes and you saw, that you guys saw. So, shout out to the couples that I met over by the Tennessee Aquarium. Uh, thank you for recommending Goodman Coffee. This definitely is on my top list for Chattanooga. So, Cortado, if I don't take the napkin with me. Let's see. I don't know why I'm smelling it, it's milk. But. So nice, smooth, and silky. Just like the espresso from earlier. It gives it a nice. So when toned down with milk, it's just like, it's like a harmony of those flavors that I mentioned earlier. So this, so just judging by the flavors that I've had so far, just from my own experience, and this is my opinion, um, this is definitely on par with Crema and Nashville, uh, Farewell in Asheville, and I want to say, what was that other one? I want to say Capybara back home in Knoxville. <laughs> Those three coffee shops, you've got some competition here in Chattanooga. That's excellent, definitely. I would drink you guys up here with Crema Coffee in Nashville. If you haven't seen that video, I uh, highly recommend you check it out. And uh, let's get outside in the mall here, look around, and I'll give you my final opinion if I can uh, 
managed to walk around uh, with one crutch with this. Um, if you guys notice when I'm doing standing shots and kind of walking around, I'm not going to be uh, using my hands, talking with them as much as I used to because I've kind of gone from my cane to uh, forearm crutches if you haven't noticed in my previous videos. So I hope that I can do my best for you guys. Uh, let's get out here. Oh, and one last thing. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And there's a bell down there if you want to get notified when I post new content. I post every Wednesday. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that's it for this for this video. Let's walk around and see what's up, what we can find. So final impressions here at Goodman. This is the expert coffee roasters and they definitely live up to their name because I am so glad I stopped here. So this place I would have to rank up there with Crema Roasters in Nashville. So Crema, Farewell, and Capybara. So those are some of the best coffees that I've tried since I've been doing this show. And Goodman, the flavors I wasn't at all expecting. If you're I guess if you're tired of just kind of, you're used to what coffee tastes like and you want to kind of get out there with flavors, if you're in the Chattanooga area or you want to travel like me, I highly, highly recommend uh, stopping by here at Goodman. Uh, thank you guys again for letting me film an episode. And I just want to say again, uh, if you want to see this channel grow, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There's a bell down there somewhere. Um, if you want to see and get notified when I post more videos. Um, as always, my name is William, and this has been Camo Coffee Critic. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.